The Zoom H4n is a high-quality professional portable audio recorder. This video will get you up and running with this device quickly and easily. The H4n runs off of two AA batteries found in the compartment on the back of the device. Remove the cover to ensure batteries are in the device and that the switch marked Stamina is set to off. The Stamina mode increases battery life but sacrifices recording quality and functionality to do so. The H4n records to a standard SD card located on the right-hand side of the device. There are multiple options for recording audio. You can plug microphones or instruments directly into the device via the XLR quarter-inch combination jacks located on the bottom of the device or use the built-in stereo microphones as well as a combination of both. The stereo microphones have two settings for audio capture direction. The 90 degree setting as shown by the markings on the microphones is ideal for recording a subject that is directly in front of the H4n. You can rotate the microphones to the 120 degree setting to have a wider pickup pattern. This is useful if you are recording an interview so that you can put the H4n in between both people and they'll both be recorded clearly. Turn on the device by sliding the power button on the left hand side. The LCD screen features several important pieces of information. Recording status icon, which will display either stopped, paused, or recording. Time code, which displays how much time has elapsed during a recording. Battery life indicator. Recording format, which displays the digital audio sample rate and bit depth. File name. Volume meters for left and right channels with decibel levels indicated underneath. Phantom power indicator, which is used for powering specific external microphones and the remaining recording time on the SD card. This is affected by both the memory available on the SD card as well as the recording format. It is very important to take note of this remaining time before recording. To turn off the H4n, slide the power button down and hold until you see the message, Goodbye, See You. On the front of the device, there are three input buttons labeled Mic, 1, and 2. To record using the built-in microphones, select Mic. Select 1 and 2 to record using the external inputs. The three lights at the top of the device indicate the recording mode being used. Press the menu button on the right-hand side and use the wheel to navigate to Mode. Press the wheel in to select this menu. Stereo mode records two channels of audio, left and right, and is the ideal choice for recordings using just the built-in microphones or just external microphones. Four-channel mode simultaneously records four tracks of audio, two from the stereo microphones and two from the external inputs. These two pairs of tracks are saved as two separate stereo audio files. MTR or multi-track mode is an advanced recording mode for recording overdubs or combining two or more recordings. Some buttons on the H4n may function differently when used in this mode. Stereo mode will be the most common record mode used. The H4n creates a new file for each recording and saves those files in a series of 10 folders on the SD card. To select which folder your files are saved to, Click the button labeled 1 underneath the word Folder. Use the wheel to navigate to the specific folder you want to save your recordings in and press the wheel in to select that folder. If you are using the H4n for the first time, it is recommended that you first format the SD card. Press the menu button and scroll to SD card and push the wheel in. Select Format and when you are asked, are you sure, click Yes. To begin recording, press the record button once. 
you will see the red ring flashing and the pause icon flashing on the LCD screen, indicating that the device is prepared to record, but is not yet recording. You can now see your audio levels displayed by the meters labeled L and R. Speak into the mic as you are going to and use the record level controls on the right hand side to adjust the audio levels so that the audio will be peaking or at its loudest point around negative 12 and negative 6 decibels, which is marked below the meters. Press the record button a second time to begin recording, indicated by the solid record light, passing time code, and the pause icon now replaced with the recording icon. You may press the play pause button to pause a recording and press it again to resume recording. Pressing the stop button will stop the current recording and save the file. It's recommended that you wear headphones to monitor your audio as you record. The headphone jack can be found on the left hand side of the H4N. The volume controls on this side adjust the volume of what you are hearing but does not affect the actual recording volume. To review a recording, hit the play pause button after you have stopped recording. You can use the track forward and track backward buttons to navigate to the beginning of a file or to navigate through all the files in that folder on the SD card. Notice the changes in file name on the screen below the timecode. You may also view a list of all files within the selected folder by pressing the button labeled 2 underneath the word file. To transfer your audio files, first turn off the device and remove the SD card and insert it into your computer or card reader. The SD card has three default folders, one for each recording mode. Navigate to the folder where your files were saved and transfer them to your desired location. If you don't have access to an SD card reader, you can transfer files via USB. Turn on the H4N and plug it into a computer using the mini USB cable connected via the port on the left hand side. Press the menu button on the right hand side, scroll down and select USB, and then select storage. The H4N should now appear as a drive on your computer and you can access your files. When done, press the menu button to disconnect. While the H4N is relatively simple to use, it also features a wide variety of options. The Zoom H4N defaults to recording 16-bit audio at 44.1 kHz. To change the recording quality, press the button labeled 4 underneath the word WAVE slash MP3. Use the wheel to scroll down to see a variety of options. Choosing WAVE 96 kHz slash 24-bit will yield the highest quality audio but result in larger file sizes. You can also access these options by pressing the menu button and navigating to record. Here, you can adjust the recording format in the same manner. You can also set the H4N to auto record, which sets the device to begin recording when triggered by detecting noises of a certain volume. The pre-record function will set the H4N to pre-record audio two seconds before the record button is pressed. This is achieved by the device always recording and deleting information until the record button is pressed. Using the pre-record function can impact battery life. Under file name, you can adjust whether the files are named in the default sequential order prefixed by the record mode, or if the files are named by the date formatted year, month, day. There are more detailed features outlined in the H4N manual.